I just jumped straight out of the bedroom because Nick was out here playing with the fish. And oh. this is what he finds. Are you kidding what? me? Get in the light, get in the light. What is going on, Kfiros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, I don't know. Yeah, dude, I, I, look at the pig. I grabbed my camera, full on just grabbed it. Look, look at my hair. I just jumped straight out of the bedroom because Nick was out here playing with the fish. And oh. this is what he finds. Are you kidding what? me? Get in the light, get in the light. A baby. Ah! <laughs> Holy you just shit. scream like a girl. Ah! That's the big one noticing what is that? Look at this. Dude, come where the hell did that thing come from? <laughs> he jumped off that rock. Oh, it's a baby soft shell. Oh, mean little guy. Baby soft shell turtle. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, you know, I'm playing with the fish like this, just you know, picking them up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I see something swimming, and I thought it was this thing at first. But then I was like, wait, there's no way. This thing is so much smaller. So I go over there, I see it, and it tried to like bury itself. And then I, I just grabbed it. And, and I hear you screaming my name. Literally, dude, what in the heck is he me? Yeah, he's Oh, he's let a mean you, little. You. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. This happened to Fnatic as well. If you know Bass Fnatic, it's a buddy of mine. He has a YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna call him. Where is my f Calling Fnatic. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Yo. Hey, remember how, you, remember how you found that baby turtle in your backyard? Yeah, I do. Why? Well, what's up? Where do you think that came from? Where do I think that came from? Yeah. Oh man. Um, he actually came from a local lake. Uh, or, or a river. I don't know. I got a lot of lakes and rivers around me. Same. And, I got uh, I got the canals in front of me, and then a, a pond at the end of my neighborhood. So. Yeah, I have a lot of local lakes and rivers around me, and a lot of times turtles are actually attracted to other bodies of water. And when I came out to my old pond one day, like I just happened to come out here, and this man was just a little baby turtle, was just basking on a rock. And like first, mine wasn't I was like, even. Oh. Ba Nick called me outside. You already, you already heard this story. The Are you serious? Yes, dude. It was dude. small. Dude, I'll send you. He probably came from, from the, the canal. Like, it had pond. to be. Yeah. I have, dude. It was so random, bro. I already had a video scheduled for tomorrow. I was gonna film it tomorrow. Now I got this one, so I'll have two videos. But. Weirdest thing of my life, and I just thought I would call you to make sure, like, I'm not just hallucinating that this baby turtle all of a sudden in my backyard. You're, you're not tripping. I'm not even kidding you. I came out one day in my old pond. No, there was barely any water in it because I was draining it because the aquascape was coming. And I came out, looked out here, and this man was just basking on a rock. And I was like, you're mine. I got you, Francis. That's your name. You instant pet. And uh, he's still in my big pond today. He has not left. Nick, I'm, I don't guy. think I'm gonna, I'm not going to keep this guy in my backyard just because I'm scared he's going to eat with the baby mini, the mini, oh, the yeah, mini pond yeah, fish. Sure. But uh, we do have a good uh, 75 gallon tank at Nick's house we're going to throw him in. So it should be Dude, cool. 100% do that. The baby uh, soft shell turtles are awesome. They're sick. Anyway, I appreciate yeah. it, dude. Yeah, no problem, bro. So past Bill's house here, there's about three or four more blocks down, there is a canal. And then right down this way, there's a neighborhood pond. So came from one of those areas and got into here somehow. A lot of the times the females will go out, lay their eggs, and then once the babies do hatch, they'll go and look for somewhere to go. And when they hear noise, hear a waterfall, see water, they're obviously going straight to that. Especially when you got a free assortment of Skittles swimming around. Even some jumbo gummy bears. All sorts of tasty snacks in this thing. I've had it happen before. Yeah. Right, my house, like I, in my old, old house, yeah. and there was no lake near, like, even close to me, and it was in my pool. So... Sometimes birds your, drop them. Yeah, you're right. Birds could have dropped that. Um, pretty much anything. There's all sorts of different circumstances that could have happened. I honestly have no idea. This is going to be a really cool video, though, because it was out of nowhere. <gasps> Wait, look at that. Come here, Billy. <laughs> Tree frog. We got a bunch of these little suckers all over the backyard. Woo! Oh, he landed. On, oh, oh, dude, that was actually really cool. There he is. This might be the victim. Got him. I told you. He's probably the one Look eating my guppies. You're eating my fish, aren't you? Are you eating my fish? Oh, heck no. Look how fat his stomach is. That thing is bulging. Go away. Go away. Look what the heck? Thing. Get out of here. If you remember this video, the fish disappearing, I think that's probably the victim. That's probably it right there. Bufo toads. 
you're right. I was laughing at Nick for saying it was a frog. So we found a baby soft shell turtle. I'm not exactly sure. I don't, I don't know if there's different species of soft shell. Once again, I'm not the biggest reptile guy. Thing just appeared in my backyard. Was not expecting this whatsoever. But we do have a location we're gonna put this thing because I don't want to keep it in the backyard. Nick's got a 75 gallon tank with some uh, with some African cichlids in it. It's honestly a really cool turtle, but I don't think I'm prepared to have a soft shell turtle or something that could possibly eat my own fish. So with that being said, let's throw it on over to Nick's house, where we're gonna put this little guy into a 75 gallon tank. Until it gets bigger, then maybe one day we we'll just release it into the wild. All right, dude, buddy, we got you a perfect home. Look at this tank. Oh, this, you, have a, or you already have a baby one. And then he took the other two that Kenny gave us four of them, and he took the other two. So he has the two other side necks as well, pink belly side necks. This so is also heated, we got a filter, it's all hidden into uh, a canister filter. We're up to 75 gallons. We got some live little, um, a lot of live some... plants mixed out through here. A lot of yeah. African cichlids. Some oh, cichlids. there's the catfish. Oh, yeah, there. Dude, there he is. Look how big. It's time to pick up our hybrid, our marbled hybrid catfish. There it is. Boom. Well, that took a little bit. Holy moly. I figured while I'm here, I'm just gonna throw back the footage of when I do release this back into the pool pond. But do you remember when we got this catfish? $45 too. We don't need to oh get my guys gosh. on prices because you know, we'd rather share a fish. We're in a dock. Nick, I might have to, you might have to get one and just throw it in your tank. Cause I don't have room for one that size, but we'll go with one of these as well. You have so, to Yeah, I'm gonna just try. Look how small that thing was. It's, it's insane how fast these things grow. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna throw it back to the pool footage and then we'll be back here. There's the arowana and uh, Hybrid, big pleco, another pleco. There's the knife fish right there. Everything's swimming around. All I gotta do is acclimate this fish to the pool pond right now. A few moments later. Look how cool this catfish looks. Just absolutely incredible. It is about time now to put it into the pool pond. There you go, buddy. Oh, well, there's the alligator gar. So long, fella. Into the darkness till you get bigger. The pool pond transfer has probably been one of the best things I've ever done for my fish. They're happy as could be in here and they're growing rapidly, way faster than they were in that tank. Now let's head back to Nick's. And there's one of the little pink belly side necks. Shout so out to Camp Kenny. For real. Uh, there's, there's two of those in here and there's about to be a bigger, just a tad bit bigger than the other soft shell in here. I didn't even know you had a baby one. Now there's two of them. Yeah. There they oh. are. Perfect little tank. Dude, what are the chances? Look at that. You ready to put your buddy in? This is your yeah. guy. What's his name, Nick? Uh, Should we let him name him? Yeah, let me name him real quick. All right. So, Nick, I'm going to let the audience, uh, the Caferos, name it as well. So, comment down below. No, what no, do you no, think no. I already know what I'm going to name him. Because name it, this Nick. thing just tried to bite me, so I'm going to name him Chomps. Chomps? Yeah, because he just tried to bite my finger. Come on, bite it. Bite Chomps, it. Chomps, bro. Look at him, bro. That bite. is so weird. What are the chances of that? Now, where did you... Where did you... Look at his mouth. He wants to bite me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, tickle his tummy. He's got a little belly rub. Damn. Um, he's a really cool turtle actually, if you look at him. Let me wash him off a little. Whoa, chunks. See, he has a little out. He's ready to go, dude. And you have Whoa. sand in there, perf which is perfect for like a soft like shell. Cause they'll, himself. Yeah, they'll bury themselves and just poke their head out. Nick also has four peacock bass. They've gotten so much bigger, Nick. Live minnow feeding first peacocks. Baby peacock bass, here we go. You don't even know which one is a minnow or a peacock. That's how, big, that's how big the minnows are and they're still eating them. Look at that. Rapid fire. He's eating them with a full mouth. Like their mouths are full. By the way, the only reason why I didn't keep this turtle for myself is because I was afraid a soft shell turtle may eat like the mollies. Holy voice crack. The mollies, the platies, uh, that sort of thing. I didn't want to risk it at all. So that's that. There's our turtle. Name it down below. Anyway, the positive comment shout out of the day goes to Sheila, I believe is how you pronounce it. If I did pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. Hey Paul, I love you and your videos. Thank you for living <laughs> and keep up with the good work. So appreciate that. And uh, to all those who do support me in the comments down below, if you do want to win a positive comment shout out, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment in the description down below and uh, you could be on the screen in one of my upcoming videos. Until next time y'all, thanks for watching. There's the baby turtle for some odd, what are the chances we just got an egg from my other two Malaysian box turtles and then we find a rando in the backyard. I figured that was gonna happen eventually, 